This is a Rolls Royce Ghost. Normally, it's our family car. We love the comfort, the luxury, and the smooth drive. But today, we're gonna take you out for some car talk. So the mortgage guy, I had an idea one day. I was uh, sitting on the couch in Sales' uh, mom's house, and one of her little sisters asked me, hey, uh, what are you thinking about? And I just told her, well, I'm thinking about opening a company. They asked me, well, what's gonna be the name of the company? And I told her, hmm, it's gotta be something that I do, something that kinda looks like me. So I told her, I'm gonna start a mortgage company and it's gonna be called, be called the Mortgage Guy. And then they started laughing, thought it was funny. But obviously they were little girls. They were about 12, 12, 13 years old. They probably just thought it was a little funny, but I'm sure they probably believed me because usually kids believe most of the things. So that's how I, I, I came with the thought of opening the mortgage guy. I needed some guidance, but usually when you have an idea like that to open up a company, the other companies are not gonna tell you, hey, you know what, this is how you do it. These are the steps so that you could put me out of business. Most people think that way, so they're not gonna help you start a business that's gonna compete against them. So I just had to figure everything out, just trial and error and call the department of real estate and ask him, so how do I get started? And they told me, you get a broker's license. Then once you get a broker's license, then you could start a company, but now you need a company. So if you don't have a corporation, you have to file a corporation, you have to fire, file an LLC or whatever you wanna use as a company. What I did is I filed a corporation. The mortgage guy looked it up, it was available. Then the challenge was like, now I have to originate loans and fund loans under my name, under the mortgage guy, under the company's name. So that was also a new thing to me. And I never imagined closing a deal under my company name. It happened and just like everything, it's hard in the beginning to imagine how it's gonna happen. Everything in life, you have to do it the first time. So once you do it the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, they become easier. But once you get the experience, everything else becomes, it just flows. Having a mentor is crucial because a mentor is gonna see all your blind spots. When you have no mentors and you're just trying to figure out everything on your own and you just think that you're invincible, that's when you when you make a lot of mistakes. And that happened to me when I was 21. When I was 21, 20, 21 through 25, I just thought I was like uh, unstoppable and I thought I knew everything. I didn't listen to anybody. Especially when I started making money, I started believing even way more than, than what I actually was. When I lost everything, I, 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 I figured out that you really need a mentor and you've got to pick your mentors wisely and listen to them because they see your blind spots. So now, even though I have experience now, I'm a little, I'm a little older than before, I'm not 25 anymore, I'm actually 34, but I still have mentors. And what convinced me was my mentors also have mentors. So I know Grant Cardone has mentors. That's why I like also to teach people and I take some time to like give some free advice and help other people because I don't want them to make the same mistake that I did. When you have a mentor, you'll save on the mistakes. When you try to just do it on your own, you're gonna learn by making mistakes and sometimes those, you can make huge mistakes that could cost you a lot of money. And it's really important to have that, that mentor in your life. I have, I personally have uh, three mentors. I use them every single day.